The world is far too complex and baffling for any of us to ever truly comprehend it. As a result, there are a lot of strange things you don't know. But after this video, there will be 15 new things you do know. <laughs> For example, there's a very specific position, and let's just say this. If you see a child sitting in this position, stop him before it's too late. Ready to learn? These are mind-blowing things you didn't know. Number 15. If you see a child sitting in this position, stop him before it's too late. Do you know what W sitting is? Well, it's when someone, normally a child, sits in a position with their knees forward and their feet behind them. If you look at this position from above, their little legs form a W shape, hence its name. Most children sit with their legs straight forward, forming a V shape, and that's totally fine. But for those who are sitting in a W position, it can actually cause a lot of skeletal or muscular problems. It can also cause secondary knee and hip issues during walking. If the child in question sitting like this before 15 months old and regularly changes the position on their own, then there's nothing to worry about. Out. But after 15 months old, every baby should have acquired enough core strength to not need the extra support that the W position offers. And if they keep sitting like that, it can cause serious damage. But don't worry, the solution is very easy. Simply encourage the child to sit in a V position, and if the issue persists, well, then it will be best to see a pediatric physical therapist. This is why if you see a child sitting in this position, stop him before it's too late. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Cucamelons. Imagine having a gorgeous and lush plant in your garden that grows something very similar to pickles. I'm referring to the cucamelons, or every pickle lover's dream. Cucamelons, or Mexican sour melons, is a plant originally from Latin America. It looks like a grapevine, but instead of grapes, they grow this amazing miniature melon that tastes incredibly sour. At first, when the fruit's not ripe yet, a cucamelon tastes just like a cucumber with a hint of lemon. But once it's ripe, they taste so intensely citrusy that it's almost like eating a pickle right off the vine. And they're as small as a grape, but they actually look like tiny watermelons. This plant is extremely easy to grow. You basically just plant it and leave it to do its thing. For any beginners in gardening, it is the perfect newbie kind of plant, and it's gorgeous too. Cucamelons are drought and pest resistant too. You can put your cucamelons in a nice and exotic salad, you can make a cocktail recipe, or you could just grab them from the plant and have a little sneaky snack. Number 13. Spending just a few months in Antarctica can shrink your brain. If I tell you to picture a very smart person, you'll naturally think of someone with a humongous brain. But did you know that Albert Einstein's brain only weighed 1.2 kilograms, which is way less than average? which completely debunks the theory of the bigger the brain, the smarter you are. The truth is, the brain is by far the most mysterious of the human being's organs. And even if it is 2021 and we made it to the moon, we still don't know that much about our own brain. And did you also know that extreme conditions can easily and dramatically infect your entire body, including your brain? There was an expedition to Antarctica where eight scientists and a cook spent 14 months at a German research facility station, and they discovered that it actually isn't the cold weather that affects the structure of the brain, it's actually the monotony of the lifestyle and the disconnection with the outside world. Basically what an astronaut feels as well. Doing the same thing every day and seeing the same landscape affects the hippocampus part of our brain, which affects our memory and even our capacity for learning. But also, the hippocampus is the part of the brain that supports the growth of new neurons, so when it's affected, the brain sort of starts shrinking. Number 12. A prank once convinced people in Germany that Hansel and Gretel were real. 
Hansel and Gretel might be one of the most popular, told, and beloved fairy tales in the world. It was written by the Brothers Grimm, and it was first published in 1812. But in 1963, a German writer claimed to have uncovered the real story behind the children's bedtime story. According to a book called The Truth About Hansel and Gretel, the two siblings were, in fact, real, and they were both bakers living in Germany during the 17th century. Apparently, Hansel and Gretel were extremely jealous of a genius confectioner that was having a lot of success at the time. She had a very special recipe for a Lebkuchen, which is a traditional gingerbread pastry. So the two siblings killed her to steal her recipe. And that would be the murder of the witch. The book even came with a facsimile of the recipe in question, as well as archaeological evidence. But as it turned out, it was all a prank that fooled an entire nation. The book was a fake, and of course, Hansel and Gretel never existed. There was no murder, and there was no gingerbread recipe. Number 11. Black Apples Exist Apples, aside from being the forbidden fruit and the only thing that doctors truly hate, have recently become one of the most sought-after fruits in the world. Aside from their controversial main character appearance in the Garden of Eden, apples have remained insanely popular to this day. Who in the world doesn't love a good old apple pie? But now, there's one kind of apples that has left everybody speechless. I'm talking about the infamous black apples. Yeah, black. They're called black diamond apples, and they're from the Huaniu family of apples from Tibet. There are approximately 7,500 different varieties of apples, but only one has that black reddish color. Usually, when your food turns black, that's nature's way of saying, do not eat this. But in this case, the scorpion fruit, as it's also called, is apparently the sweetest and crispiest of all the apples out there. In other words, the queen of the apples is the black diamond apple. But if you want to taste it yourself, you'll have to go where it grows, as it's impossible to find anywhere else on the planet. Bon Appetit! Number 10. Butt-shaped robots are used to test phones. Technology's gone so far in such a short period of time. We have self-driving cars now and helicopters on Mars. Oh, and also the one and only Butt Robot. It was created by Samsung to test the durability of their upcoming Galaxy Note 4 smartphone, and its job is simply sit on its butt all day long. I know more than one person that would love to have this job. The Butt Robot stunt was a response to the iPhone 6 Plus Bendgate hoopla. And it worked. The buzz on the net over a sitting robot is almost poetic irony. I mean, it's even wearing jeans. But really, it is a brilliant idea. Do you know anyone that doesn't put their phone in their back pocket? And they break so easily that way. You could fill a phone graveyard with just the phones that got cracked when their owner sat down. So this is a very elegant solution. Test it with a butt-shaped robot. And I gotta say, that robot has a nicer butt than a lot of people as well. I guess it pays to be doing squats all day long, huh? Number 9. It's totally legal to escape from prison in Mexico. If there's one thing that everybody admires, it's someone escaping from prison. I mean, you have to be built different to be able to pull something like that off. First of all, you need to not know what fear is. And who doesn't want to be like that? And then afterwards, what do you do? You keep running all your life? That's not fun. But in Mexico, get this, it is not illegal to escape prison. The Mexican constitution states that all citizens have a fundamental desire of being free, which is human nature in a way. And therefore, people in Mexico cannot be punished for attempting to escape from prison. That doesn't mean they'll allow you to walk free, of course. They will hunt you down, and they'll probably catch you and throw your sorry ass back into jail. But they can't prolong your sentence for having tried or succeeded at escaping the prison system. <sighs> Constitutional loopholes can be so neat sometimes. It's a very philosophical approach of governing a society that doesn't actually punish you for being a human being. Instead, it punishes you for committing a crime. They even have a system to provide help for those that may have been unjustly imprisoned. Well done, Mexico. Number 8. 
One of the most painful stings known to mankind is from the most unexpected animal. You'll never guess what animal has the most excruciatingly painful sting in the world. They're cute, they look like a mammal, but in fact are not. <laughs> yeah, it's the platypus. Aside from being one of the strangest creatures alive, it turns out they're also venomous. Who knew? And their sting is so powerful, there is no painkiller known to man that can relieve the pain. But it's only the male ones that are actually venomous, because during the winter, when it's time to compete over the females, they literally stab each other with a half-inch long spur to win the fight. This bizarre spur is also crooked and is located behind the platypus fin. Who knew that platypuses could be so vicious? They actually have a very similar toxin to spiders, reptiles, and also sea anemones. The cute platypus becomes weirder and weirder the more we learn about it. They're basically an amalgam of every kind of animal in the world. There haven't yet been any human casualties from platypus venom, but if I were you, next time I would stay far away. Number 7. You can hear rhubarb growing. Imagine a plant that grows so fast, you can literally hear it growing. Not only is rhubarb absolutely delicious and also quite the ally of the witches, but also they make sounds. It's actually the buds cracking open that makes the creaking sound. The technique used for the rhubarb to speed up the growing process and that also magically makes it a lot sweeter and yummier is called forcing. Forcing is a natural technique that consists of leaving the plants to grow at their will outdoors for two years. And then, usually around winter time, all the plants are moved into heated sheds in total and utter darkness. Because rhubarb is a plant with an extreme sensitivity for light, this will create the perfect conditions for it to just start growing abnormally fast. So much so that in those sheds, there's a constant creaking sound day and night. Once the stalks reach the ideal size and turn into a pale yellow, that's when they are the sweetest and the harvest can happen. But only in candlelight. Because these babies just don't like direct and strong light. And there you have it. Delicious, fresh rhubarb in massive quantities to make all the pies you want. Number 6. Mothers are asked nearly 300 questions a day. The worldly known phrase of, I don't know, ask your mother, said by every father ever in all four corners of the world, never rang more true than after this study was released. Apparently, mothers from all over the UK are asked, on average, almost 300 questions per day. That's a lot of questions. The study showed that mothers in the UK are bombarded every hour with more questions than your ordinary primary school teacher. If that's not enough for you to go get your mom a big hug and a nice bouquet of flowers. In the UK alone, mothers are by far the most quizzed people ever. And the gender that is the most inquisitive? Girls, of course. These curious little girls ask on average 390 questions per day at the rate of one question every one minute and 56 seconds. Apparently, it's during mealtime that toddlers ask the most questions, and now we know why children take so much time to finish their meals. And also, but this is no surprise at all, 82% of children go to their mothers first rather than asking their fathers. Even if it isn't Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day for all moms out there. Number 5. Every year it rains fish. This story's a perfect hybrid between a biblical Armageddon and a wholesome fairy tale. It's for you to decide which. Welcome to La Union Honduras, where people are unfortunately extremely poor and food is scarce and sought after. Residents of La Union survive mainly on corn and beans that they themselves grow as they can. This region is nowhere near the coastline and not even near a lake or river where they could at least fish to have some protein and animal sustenance. 
but once every year, if the conditions are just right, the unimaginable happens. After a violent and scary storm with such torrential rains that nobody dares going outside when some houses get destroyed because of the floods, and the lightning and thunder lasts for days on end. When the coast is clear outside, you'll see every single one of the residents of La Union leaving their houses all armed with empty buckets. Why? Well, because the streets are filled with yummy, silver-colored fish. Nobody knows exactly how or why this happens, but if you ask anyone there, they'll all say the same thing. It's a blessing from God. Number 4. The Mantis Shrimp Has the World's Fastest Punch we tend to think of shrimp as tiny and delicious little marine creatures, but certainly not as one of the most badass animals on Earth. Well, actually, shrimp are insanely cool, especially the mantis shrimp. This little guy has the fastest punch in the entire planet. How fast? Well, as fast as a 22 caliber bullet. Even though they only measure 4 inches long, they can create 1,500 newtons of force per punch. We're talking about a strike so fast, it's 23 meters per second. I mean, granted, they're way too small to be able to kill a human, of course, but if they punch you in your finger, they can easily cut right through the bone. And not only that, these magnificent creatures are packed with the utmost sophisticated vision on Earth as well, which means they're capable of seeing colors that we, as humans, can't even begin to imagine. I mean, go ahead, try to imagine a color you haven't seen. It's hands down impossible. That, combined with the fastest strike, makes the mantis shrimp an excellent and dangerous predator. Have you changed your mind about this little boxing champion? Number 3. The Lemon Juice Experiment the lemon juice experiment is a very simple one. It basically consists of putting a drop of lemon juice under your tongue, and scientists are figuring out that the outcome can tell you something about your personality. How it works is everybody secretes different amounts of saliva when their mouth comes into contact with food, and sometimes just thinking about food can make some people salivate immediately. I'm literally just talking about salivation, I've noticed that I'm salivating more. It's weird. The entire process of salivation is controlled by the reticular activating system, or RAS, which is part of your brain. And a very good food stimulus is lemon. But scientists are trying to link the amount of saliva produced by a person to what type of personality they have. Because actually, we don't just salivate because of food, but also because of a social context. So the theory says that an introvert will have an increased activity in their RAS, and consequently, they produce more saliva. That's because introverts have a high activity in their RAS even without stimuli, which means that they only need a very little amount of stimuli to get a very large response. Response. Extroverts, on the other hand, have a very low activity in their RAS when it isn't stimulated, therefore they require a very big stimulus to activate a response. Number 2. It's impossible to hum while you hold your nose. Let's do a little experiment. It won't hurt, I promise. Hold your nose tight and, while keeping that position, try to hum. You can't do it, right? Well, that's because when you hum, you're basically exhaling air from your nose. Uh, how I wish I had a camera to capture all you trying to hum right now. But in all seriousness, if both orifices, your nose and your mouth, are closed, then the air has nowhere to go and, therefore, there is no sound. <laughs> If you try now to hum normally and you pay close attention to your nose canals, you'll feel the hot air going out of it. It's almost like you're talking through your nose, using it as a flute. You might be able to hum for a few short seconds, very briefly, before there's either no more sound or you'll feel the urge to open your mouth to catch your breath. It's funny how we can do something almost every single day and not notice how exactly it is that we're doing it. Number 1. Bigger forks lead you to eat less. 
Summer is here, and some of us are a little worried about losing those pesky extra couple of pounds before we take our holidays and go to the beach. But diets are so boring and hard to do. If only there was a way of eating less without even noticing. Don't worry, we found the perfect way of tricking your brain into naturally eating less. And it won't cost you a lot of money either. There's a study that suggests the visual aspect of eating is crucially important in determining how we eat. For example, if you place a certain amount of food on a huge plate, you're not going to feel full after finishing the dish. But if you place the exact same amount of food on a small plate where the food takes more space and gives the illusion of more, well then your brain will happily tell you that indeed you ate enough to feel blissfully full. And the same goes for the size of your utensils. A bigger fork appears to provide more satisfactory goal progress than a smaller one. So you know what to do. Head down to your local kitchen tool store and grab the largest and heaviest fork and knife you can find. I don't know about you, but I didn't even know half of these super cool facts. Which one surprised you the most? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.